Well, I was listening to one of your callers, so I think I, I kind of get the gist of where he might have been going, but you kind of threw him because you hit him with some pretty hard, some pretty hard facts that he didn't have any preparation for. But I think what he was trying to say is, you know, if I'm gay and I want to get married and I want to get married in a church, then it's incumbent on me to find a church that will marry me if my heart's desire is to get married in a church. Here, here. What I think... What I think the problem is... I want to know the problem. Stand by, Cheryl. We'll give you a chance to explain it. Cheryl's listening in Indy. Uh, Cheryl, you were driving at some sort of a point, but uh, you didn't have much time there. Uh, Go ahead with your thoughts now. I appreciate you putting me on hold. That's fine. I'm driving still. Um, What I was trying to say is I think the problem right now that we're facing is, you know, as far as we know, the most recent statistics I heard is that the gay population represents less than 5% of the people in our country. So we've got less than 5% of the population, and we are being told that it's discrimination to choose not to marry them, to choose not to make a cake for their wedding, to choose not to photograph their wedding. And if I'm a gay person, and I have a gay brother, and I think he would probably agree, if you want to get married in a church, then you find a church that has no problem with that, and you get married. I what agree. I don't like, What I don't like is when people – walk in a church or a bakery or a photography studio and say, this is what I want. And when they're told, no, thank you, we don't choose to do that. Now it's become this big thing. Some let's people sued over that. and uh, Yeah, I, let's get all legalistic. Let's run them out of business. Let's accuse them Yeah, I think that's horrible. Let's yeah, I think this is where gay rights jump the shark, first, yeah. uh, first off. Why and in I the world would you want to force somebody to make a cake for exactly. you? Exactly. The worst cake in the world. I mean, they're not, you're not going to eat a cake that you made somebody make for you. That's absolutely ridiculous. Exactly, because you aren't even going to know what's in it. You might not want to know. But the point is that we're not allowing freedom. We're yeah. talking about freedom. I agree the with you, Cheryl. Freedom. People... And you know what? If I'm a baker in a town and there's two gay people and they walk in and I don't want to bake their cake, they can go someplace and find someone that will. They can I come to my bakery. My business. <laughs> I don't think my business is going to take a hit. Oh, yeah, well, because I won't go there either. Because if I well, find out that you're doing that, saying. see, let you the market decide. The market, yeah. the market will decide. Right. The success or failure of churches, businesses, photographers, etc. I'm with you. I'm with you there, Cheryl. Yeah, I absolutely call that religious freedom, uh, or whatever freedom, philosophical freedom. Absolutely. If you're an atheist that doesn't freedom. feel like making cakes for gay people or, or whomever or you or Christians or whomever it is that you don't want to make cakes for, you shouldn't have to do it because to absolutely. force somebody into that is a form of slavery, and yeah. that's ultimately what democracy is. Democracy is exactly. 51% telling 49% how they've got to live and how they've got to be and how they've got to act yeah democracy sucks and, I, and you know what in my own experience i married an atheist i was raised in church my pastor refused to marry us because i was marrying a non-believer wow you know what i didn't stop going to church there i didn't hold it against him his belief was that it was against what he the oc took as a pastor to marry the unequally yoked i didn't like it but i got in the yellow pages i found someone else to marry us I found a venue that would marry us that there were no problems with, and I continued to go to that church for years after that. I have respected my pastor's right to say no. Problem solved. Thanks, Cheryl. Appreciate hearing from you tonight. Our toll-free number, if you want to join us, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. I mean, it certainly is discrimination to tell someone I don't want to make a cake for you. That by definitely you know, because of whatever reason, that is by definition discrimination. And that's okay. If people want to discriminate, they should be free to do that. I can also discriminate in return and say, hey, look, if you don't make this gay couple a cake, then I'm not going to do business with you ever because I think that that is inappropriate. I think that, you know, leave those people alone. If they want to make a cake, then make them a cake, you know, whatever. But you shouldn't be forced to. I, I think that, uh, right. I, well, I think that it comes down to your belief system. If that's And, and I may or may not choose to uh, you know, go to a business that uh, makes whatever decisions they make. At some point or another, uh, you know, if you choose to boycott every business that doesn't believe like you believe in every way, you have now boycotted every business. Yeah, that's true. And that's one of the difficulties uh, with this whole line of thinking. But to force people that don't uh, you know, believe other than what you believe— I think is it's it's problematic, and it's at some point or another it's going to result in uh, you know less freedom for yourself. If you want freedom, you need to protect. 
the freedoms of other people that disagree with you. 